My name is Margaret Stock. I'm known as an immigration lawyer, and I'm also a member of the Retired Reserve. I'm a lieutenant colonel in the Military Police Corps. Uh, I came from a family that had had some trouble because uh, my father had died when I was very young. And I grew up, I think, with a sense that it was important to pursue justice and that you could get better outcomes if you use the legal system in a way that was positive. My focus of academic interest has been on the connection between immigration and national security. We typically think of national security in the immigration context as a, uh, an issue of keeping people out of the United States. We want to keep bad people out of the United States. But it's much more than that. It's actually about letting the right people into the United States. And that's because national security is not just about physical security. It's also about economic security. It's about civil liberties. It's about freedom. It's about the right to bring up your family without having your family torn apart. Military accession is vital to the national interest. It's known by the acronym MAVNI. It was a program that came out of an idea that I briefed to the Secretary of the Army. And in the fall of 2007, the Army was facing a very dire recruiting crisis. They were having a very, very difficult time in the midst of a war finding volunteers for the all-volunteer force. In reality, there were lots of people out there in the country who were highly qualified and were interested in joining the military. But because our legal immigration system is broken and has been broken for a very long time, it had become extremely difficult for people to get a green card. And the military was requiring people to have green cards before they could join. But we were turning them away. We decided that we would approach the Pentagon and try to get a recruiting program that would allow legal immigrants in the United States who did not yet have green cards to join the military. We had a quota in the Army of 890 people and we had about 15,000 people trying to join. We were allowed to run the pilot program for one year, and they've now increased the quota to slightly higher numbers than the last time. I started the American Immigration Lawyers Association Military Assistance Program. It's another acronym, we call it ALAMAP, but this is a program that's a pro bono program, free legal services to help military members, veterans, and their families with immigration problems. And because I was one of the few people within the military who had a knowledge of the military and I also had a knowledge of immigration law, I was getting all these phone calls, uh, emails, people coming by my office pleading and begging for help with their cases. And I was inundated. I just couldn't handle it as one person on my own. So I approached uh, the president of the American Immigration Lawyers Association and I asked him if it was possible to set up a pro bono program. And to his credit, he immediately turned around and he said to his staff, this is a great idea, let's do it. I was very, very surprised and stunned. I know what a great honor it is to be recognized by the MacArthur Foundation. And it validates the work that I've been doing. And it's going to allow me to reach more audiences, to tell more people about the problems that our nation's facing with regard to immigration and national security. I think there's a tremendous pressure in law to serve the rich and the powerful and not the poor and the helpless. And the MacArthur Foundation is doing a wonderful thing by allowing me to, to reach out and help folks that I wouldn't be able to help otherwise.